scared for kids because those kids who are growing up with very low ambition and aspiration they're kind of getting drawn into the whirlpool of negativity and there isn't a future and what David Cameron is doing at the moment is certainly pressing home to them that there's not much future for them. Just to orientate yourself in case any of you aren't from the borough, where you are standing now amidst these giant towers full of multi-millionaires is the borough with the highest rate of severe child poverty in the country. We lost 500 council homes to make way for Canary Wharf. We didn't get 500 homes back. So many of the families who live near me are overcrowded. Because we were so young and so green, we believed that when they said life would be better and the trickle down would really come from the enormous wealth that would be coming to our area. It's the borough with the highest rate of youth unemployment in London. A lot of people are trapped because they know they can't get a job in Canary Wharf. How do you tell a kid that you could be managing director of Canary Wharf? You have the just as much intelligence as someone who lives in Hampstead Heath. We're going to talk a bit more about the cuts in Tower Hamlets, facing £70 million of cuts. The Big Society has already been working for years here, but from the grassroots up, that's all we have is each other and whatever we have in the middle there. Hope for the future, I think, as long as you've got human beings, you've got hope. And as long as you've got a sense of humour, you've got hope. And I think we will survive. I love that song, I will survive.